before we start class, I'd just like to remind everyone about the, um, so um, the previous assignment, right? I had everyone write a script, right? Um, but some of you did not put your script on the activity handout, and I cannot give you a grade if you didn't do that. It's, it's a zero if you don't have a script on the activity handout. I know you've all written a script, which is that it has to be on the activity handout for me to grade it. So uh, I'm not gonna grade it yet. I'll give you guys a few days, but if you need me to unsubmit the assignment so you can add the script on there, let me know. It, I'm going to take like, you know, a point off for it. It's not gonna be a big deal, but I just wanted to let you know so I don't give you a zero for the script, okay? I know most of you had the script on the activity handout, so it was fine, but if you didn't, please do that so I could, um, so I could grade it. Um, so I, let's begin the lesson today. I'd like to begin with a discussion, class discussion. So does anyone remember what the Industrial Revolution is or what industrialization is? Or where it began? Yes. It began in England. Right, yes. It began in England. And um, what, about, what about industrialization can you guys remember like about the materials that were Right. Great. Yes. So they use machines to make to make uh, things, and they use factories, right? Um, so I'd like you to open up your uh, Toology and open the Causes for Imperialism activity handout. Uh, it causes for imperialism activity. start reading the instructions here. Um, the seizure of a country or territory by a stronger country is called imperialism. As occurred throughout most of Africa, stronger European countries dominated the political and economic and social life of the weaker countries during the 19th and early 20th centuries. With a partner, create a semantic map for the causes of imperialism after reading the assigned textbook pages. Does anyone know what a semantic map is? No? Okay, well, if you look at the end of the handout, at the back of the handout, I have an example of, an, of a semantic map. You could use my template. So a semantic map or a graphic organizer are maps or webs of words. The purpose of creating a map is to visually display the meaning-based connection between a word or phrase and a set of related words or concepts. So you can use Google Drawings here, I gave the um, instructions how to use it, or you can physically draw your own um, semantic map and then take, take a picture of it and put it into the document. Or you could use the template I've already made on here for you, and you can double click the template to edit it and um, do your own thing on there. Or if you wanna make your own digitally too, you can, you can use Paint or whatever program you guys are used to using. Um, but feel free to use my template. Feel free to use a, uh, to make your own physical semantic map and then take a picture of it. Um, this will be graded, so please, um, every student must submit it by the end of the period. And uh, I highly recommend that you work with a partner. And if you don't, if you feel free, if you um, feel more comfortable reading a physical copy of the textbook, the textbook pages, again, are in the activity handout. Uh, but I, Put them in here for you so for easy of access and also put the key vocabulary for you to refer back to if you get stuck so please i highly recommend that you work with a partner if not if you feel more comfortable working alone you may do you may do that so please you may uh begin working 